Hi, I'm Glenn from Nokia, and today I want to talk to you about one of the key features of the Nokia N8, its 12 megapixel camera. The camera on the N8 is equipped with a Carl Zeiss lens, and the image sensor that is used is the largest ever that we've seen in a mobile device to date. The N8 also sports a Xenon flash and a mechanical shutter, as well as a two-stage dedicated capture key. So on the back of the N8, you can see that we've got our glass lens and our Xenon flash. And on the top, in the usual position, we've got our two-stage dedicated capture key. To activate the camera, we just push and hold this capture key. And you might actually be able to see the lens shutter on the N8 opening as I activate the camera. There we go. So if we look out to the street, you can see that we've got the viewfinder window for the N8 camera. Now, to take a photo, I push and hold halfway down on the capture key till we get a focus, and then I push all the way in to capture the image. From here, I can then choose to send, delete, or even view the image in the gallery of the device. We can also switch to video mode, and the N8's 12 megapixel camera is capable of recording 720p high definition video at 25 frames per second. To start recording video, I simply push down on the capture key and it will start recording. Push again to end capturing the video clip. From here we can jump back. When I'm taking a photo on the N8, I also have a number of different options and settings that I would normally have on a dedicated digital camera. So if I jump into settings here, we can see that I've got scene mode. I can activate or deactivate face detection. I've got a grid so that I can frame my photos perfectly. A self timer for when you want to take a group shot and include yourself in the photo. And I can also play with things like color tone, white balance, the exposure settings, even light sensitivity. Another really cool function of the N8's camera is the ability to change between automatic and different modes for shooting. So if I want to take a photo of these OV Rubik's cubes here, I'd change the camera to macro mode setting. So to do this, I jump into scene modes in my settings and I can select close up. From here, I can frame my photo, let it focus and capture the image. Crystal clear. So once you've captured images and videos on your N8, you're going to want to review them and have a look at the photos that you've taken. To do this, we can jump into Photos, let it launch, and then we'll go into All. You can see that the N8 is reacting very, very quickly, and this is thanks to its dedicated multimedia processing system. You'll also notice that as I go to scroll through my images, it very quickly and easily keeps up and loads all the images that I've captured on my N8 to date. Let's have a look at one of the photos that we captured earlier of the OV Rubik's Cubes. So if I tilt my handset, we'll automatically go into landscape mode, and then I can pinch and zoom in on the image. Let it render, and you can see that we've got a very high resolution close-up shot of the Rubik's Cubes. So that's my video on the fantastic 12 megapixel Carl Zeiss camera that we've put into the Nokia N8. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave your comments and questions in the comments section below as to who you think this feature would appeal to and why.